because if I show your screen here, I think it will block the slide. Is it correct? Uh, so yes. Uh, so I try to minimize that. So if you all want to stop me, you all just uh, unmute yourself, open up your mic, and then you all tell me. Uh, because once I uh, minimize this, I cannot see your face here. All right. So, okay. This new course, uh, okay. So this new course is actually about um, not only Python programming. Uh, we also will apply this Python programming into a competition. Let us go for the first slide first. Okay, so uh, I think every one of you, you all know me, like I'm Coach Chris, uh, but uh, in case uh, some of you don't know actually uh, uh, my qualifications, uh, so I would like to share with you that uh, this actually is my profile. Okay, so my degree is in MMU until PhD now also in MMU. Okay, so um, what I actually would like to share with you all is uh, during this uh, university life, uh, Okay, I actually get a lot of uh, this kind of awards. Okay, a lot of achievement here. Okay, so uh, one thing that I also would like to share with you all actually uh, before this uh, university, okay, which means my primary school and my secondary school, I don't have a lot of achievement. Uh. So actually for all of you here, I mean, really all of you here, because all of you are actually attached to our uh, RoboForce here. So all of you here have a lot of achievement already for now. Okay, at least you all have a, uh, some awards, some medals. Okay, but uh, actually for my time, I don't have this kind of achievement. So um, what this kind of achievement can bring you is uh, in the future study, uh, not like uh, secondary school, it's your university because in university, you will choose your own university. So if you would like to enroll inside, you need to apply inside. You need to have the first thing is your good result of uh, your exam. Okay. The second thing is your achievement. So my uh, actually what I wish for is every one of you here can go for really, really good university, okay? Don't limit yourself in Malaysia. So you all can try to aim for uh, overseas university, okay? Because overseas university, uh, if you can get scholarship, okay, that will be uh, lighten the burden of your family. So your family no need to spend a lot of money. So this is what I actually really hope for every student that, uh, that is uh, taking this kind of uh, courses from us. Okay, so this is actually what we wish for. Lah. So I hope that every one of you can, uh, through this course, can really go for the international level, and you all really will have a really, really good uh, opportunity to study in the top university in uh, the US or in UK or other uh, means a uh, uh, better country. Lah. Okay, so this is what I wish for. Okay, so um, this is why we always want you all to go for competition and get some achievement. So it is not really for nothing, okay? It is actually for your future. So for programming for coding, actually there are two types. And I, um, I'm sure that majority of you all here actually uh, learn the uh, graphical programming, okay? which means uh, here we teach you about M block, okay? And some of you in the school, you all learn about Scratch. And also we have some students who actively participated in Lego, okay? Lego also using this kind of graphical programming. So it means that you don't need to use one uh, text, not text, uh, to type out your code, okay? You just need to drag it out, drag it out, okay? Very easy. For text base is actually in this way, okay, in this way. So everything you need to type out. There's no drag and drop, okay. From scratch means from blank notepad you need to type it out, and then after that you need to run your program. Run program is just same like M block, just run it, okay. But the way you type it, okay, it will be different, okay. So text based programming and graphical programming different, okay. So in text based programming we have Python 
as an example, uh, Python is one kind of uh, programming that you need to type. Okay. Uh, second is uh, Java. Okay. So last one, you can see that Jimbo is called G++. Okay. C++ is a uh, quite a long time programming, but now still using it. Uh, okay. Means uh, it's not outdated. Uh, not outdated. Python is uh, lately only popular means this few years only get popular okay why because easy to learn <laughs> okay so that's why i actually introduced this course to our students here because uh, this text-based programming for python is really more easier for you all to start learning for c++ it's actually a bit difficult okay so python is actually like just now i say it's a programming language okay just like c and java so the one that you use you, you need to type out okay you cannot use a plot to try and drop okay so actually for python it's a was a hobby project uh, you can see the inventor here the creator here okay so this uncle uh, this uncle in 1989 already did this okay also around this time you know you see uh, in the week around christmas as hobby project so he it is not for his work it's just for fun uh, okay so for fun then everyone using now okay so i hope every one of you next time also you can do something for fun then uh, the entire year will also know your project uh, okay so you have the potential one so this is one of his uh, hobby project la, around this uh, holiday so he just did this as a, uh, pro a hobby project uh, during uh, the holiday when he is free okay so uh, you can see uh, this is the year of 1989 he already started to do okay so even that time i'm not even uh i'm not even means born yet i'm not even born yet okay i'm born in 1993 so python is even older than me it's even older than me okay so why call python okay python uh, when you all heard this name is actually the name of the of the snake okay of the type of snake okay but for actually this uh for this uh, language why it call uh, python it's actually because of the creator at that time he watched this tv show okay then he saw this uh middle word here python then he feels like this word is so cool then he just put this uh, name as uh uh, for the, this programming language okay so maybe next time you can put your own name as the programming language who knows okay uh, so this is this is how this name comes from uh, it's not really about snake okay because everyone actually when heard about this uh, python uh, everyone thought it's a snake so actually python is older than uh, java so you see uh, in 1989 this uh, creator start to do but release is in 1991 okay take one years now one year plus to develop so normal because your project okay every one of you the project you also need to take around one year to develop okay so while java actually released in 1995 so java used for really many years already once java is released uh actually many people are using it okay java normally we will use in what in web development website okay and also in uh uh android app okay android app also use java now still using okay but you can see actually python is uh, older than java but in this few years uh, like in this five years uh, reason five years are uh, only become popular okay only become popular so uh later i'll also tell you why it will become popular uh, but you can see uh, actually it is old but is not actually common in the in the last 10 years okay last 10 years not really people using it okay last one is uh, python is open source okay like arduino we always when we chew about arduino uh, we call it open source why because no one own the license okay what it means no one own the license means that when you want to sell your uh, arduino project uh, you no need to pay for licensing okay next time you will know when uh, when you develop a very good project then I'll, I'll tell you more about licensing it means that when you want to sell something you need to uh, pay the creator also not only you are the creator you know i mean if arduino got license uh, you need to pay arduino 
<laughs> that company. But luckily, la, what we actually teach you all, all are open source. Even Python also open source, which means that if you have your own Python software and you want to sell it, then you can just sell it. No one will need to, uh, no one will come and say, hey, you need to pay me the licensing. Yeah. So Python is open source. Okay. And you can see one of the largest community. Okay. Because now many people using Python and like Arduino, many people using Arduino. So you can search a lot of the code. Okay. A lot of the solution. Okay. In the web, in the website, from the Google, from the internet. Okay. So this is the good thing about Python. They are, you can see that Python Arduino very similar, but different thing, huh? completely different thing. Okay, Python is pure about coding, no hardware. Okay, no hardware. Okay, so now another thing is I need to share with you all is why want to learn this Python. Okay, the first thing is for 2021, uh, this year, uh, Python is already ranked the first in the top 10 most popular programming language. Okay, which means that among all these languages here, uh, Python, Java, C, C Sharp, C, JavaScript, okay, R, R minus, uh, Ruby, all these Swift, uh, Swift, all of these are uh, programming language, all of these are uh, text based, you need to type up. Okay, but Python now is the first one. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Python developer, which means that if you can uh, write Python software, so for now, uh, uh, they can get the highest average salary, okay, in worldwide means in the whole world, uh, especially in the US, uh, okay, you can see 120,000 per year, okay, it's an annual salary in US currency, USD, uh, okay, 120,000, better than engineering here, okay, so this is the market of the Python now, uh, okay, so why? That's why we, we, we learn about Python. Okay, the third one is Python is the top first language used to develop AI and big data projects. Okay, so big data, maybe you all have no uh, no concept about this, but AI, every one of you should know. AI means artificial intelligence, okay, smart things, okay? It's like when you talk to your Siri, okay? Uh, your iPhone Siri or your Google, okay? So that is actually, uh, AI application and now more and more AI you have okay even robot also a lot of AI so Python is the first language that used to develop AI uh, okay many people use this Python to develop AI even for my PhD uh, my study here okay I'm using Python to do my PhD study also uh. okay so just to share with you all so now for Python it's really mm -hmm. applicable I can say Okay, so for this last one is Python is the most easiest programming language to learn. Okay, you can see here, this is the sample code. You can see actually uh, all of the word here, uh, you can know, guess, you can actually guess what it is, like DFO, define, uh, for, oh, for something, it, what, uh, then if, then else, then you can see that uh, there's a, we call it in then uh, here, Okay, it's like a new paragraph like this. Okay, so you see uh, how they actually write is like writing a normal English essay. Okay, but if you say I'm not good in English, never mind. Okay, you don't need to learn very good English. Only you can learn this Python. Okay, but you can see actually not really hard to read. Not really hard to read. Okay, you can see oh for something in something then everything in this uh, four is belong to this four here uh, because it is a new paragraph inside the four here. Uh, so this is the way uh, this uh, uh, creator, he actually want to do. He said, I want to invent uh, easier uh, programming language so that everyone can learn. Uh, so this, this is why uh, Python come in this form. Okay, so short and straightforward coding. Okay, so uh, if, we have students here that know about Arduino serial dot print. Uh. You see uh, Arduino serial dot print, you need to type out a lot of things. But here in Python, you just need to you just need to type out print. Uh, yeah, that's all. Print means that show you something. Okay, show you something. So later we will have a demo section. I'll I'll, I'll show you uh, how this print works. Okay, so 
uh, list syntax, okay, this is uh, one of the very important part. Like just now I told you all, I learned C++, I learned C. So C++ and C, uh, uh, I'm not so uh, means recommend you all to start with these two uh, programming language, means start learning with these two. After you learn Python, you go and learn C and C++, it will be easier. Because for C and C++, a lot of syntax. What is syntax? Syntax is the symbol, like bracket, uh, uh, semicolon, uh, uh, full stop. Uh, all these are syntax. Okay, Python actually has less syntax, okay? But C++ and C a lot. What if um, you um, actually put the wrong syntax? Uh, your program, you have error, so you cannot run. So this is the good thing about Python. No, uh, not a lot of syntax, and then easy to read, easy to type, can directly type, okay, very easy. So this is the, the advantage of Python. Okay, what Python can do first, okay? The first thing is uh, graphical user interface. Okay, what is this? This is actually uh, like our computer software. So means Python can do your computer software. Okay, the first one. Okay, second one is the Linux. Okay, Linux, which means that it is a different, uh, different kind of a uh, uh, OS. Uh, we call now you are using Windows. Some uh, like some students are using Mac. Okay, Linux is different uh, operating system, so you can use this uh, Python to to write it. Okay, third is data science so so this one is a new field uh. this is a new field because uh, now we have internet we have a lot a lot of uh, data so in order to analyze this kind of a lot of data uh, we need to use ai artificial intelligence so that's why you will need to uh you need to use python to do this we call data science okay remember this word uh, i mean not really remember uh, uh you 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 see that uh, this word uh, Next time you will see this is a job. It is a new job, kind of new job. Okay, only in these few years, this, uh, data science become very popular. Okay, and their salary also very high. Eh? Okay, so uh, yeah, the fourth one is web development. So uh, this Python can do web also if you want to do. Okay, uh, this one is Pi Uno. It's not Arduino Uno. Eh? This one is about a uh, document one, about document. Okay, last one is uh, machine learning, or we call it as AI, artificial intelligence. Uh, I use this TensorFlow. Okay, I use this to do AI things. Uh, so Python can do AI. Okay, but besides this, uh, you, you maybe you say, oh, I also didn't see this thing of before, but I think you got see this kind of thing in our lab before, okay? Raspberry Pi. Uh, so Raspberry Pi is uh, one kind of a uh, mini computer, or we call micro computer. This one also use, use Python to program. So not only you can do the software, you can also interface with sensor. Okay, but this one use Python. You can use, after you learn Python, uh, you easily can use this Raspberry Pi to do your own project. Okay, and what I can share to you, uh, if you really know how to use Raspberry Pi uh, in your future project, uh, you can easily win in competition. Uh. <laughs> okay, this is my uh, experience. Okay, so last one is a uh, game development. Not really the 3D kind of game, uh, not the one that you like to play like PUBG or this game, uh, not like Minecraft, uh, okay? Uh, it's just 2D game, okay? Uh, something better than your uh, M block game, but almost something the same, uh, okay? So you can use this Python to do your own game also, and it's also easy, okay? But one thing, uh, this one, I'm not going to teach about this game development first, uh, okay? I'm going to teach you about basic first. For this, we can do it as program. Okay, so uh, yeah, what kind of company now are using Python? Okay, the first one, NASA. Okay, who don't know NASA? <laughs> uh, okay, so NASA is the uh, is the astronomy uh, the center in US. Uh, means the one that do rocket and then satellite. And then uh, all these planet, planet things, okay, are from there. So I can say that like, all those talented people are from there. Okay, then Google, okay, IBM, maybe you don't know, uh, Facebook, 
Facebook, you must know. Okay, Netflix, you sure know what is that? No, know, know what is that? Uh. Okay, MIT. MIT is uh, a very famous. I mean, the top one, uh, the top one university in US. Even them also using Spotify. Uh, maybe some of you use, some of you don't use. Uh, that you use to uh, means listen to the music. Uh, you tell me maybe some of you don't familiar uh, Uber. Uh, here we don't have Uber already. Here is crap. Okay, Amazon. Here you maybe you can see because this is in uh, the the US state. K okay, Dropbox maybe you are using. Uh, Pinterest maybe you are not using. YouTube. Ah, uh, see, uh, YouTube and Instagram. Uh, all this all these applications are uh, they for use Python to do. Okay, so which means that now uh, all these top company are using Python already. Uh, so not something not useful. Ah, uh, Python. Okay. Okay, so now let's come to our course details. Okay, so this course we actually designed for student age from 9 to 15 years old. Why 15 years old? Later I'll share it with you all. Okay, because I need to develop you all to the international competition. So uh, I think I will only uh, mean, uh, choose to develop uh, starting from 15 years old. I mean, the last year because uh, for that competition only can until 17 years old and I need time to teach you all. So not that easy to handle, but I need time. Okay, so for this basic, uh, we will take around 40 weeks, so around one year. Uh, okay, we break into one year, so you all won't be very stressed. Okay, if I want you all to learn in three months, uh, I think every one of you cannot handle because these are text-based programming. Okay, if I want you all to learn very fast, uh, uh, I think most of you all cannot cannot handle. Okay, so I bring very simple syllables. Okay, every class I will only I will only talk for maybe one concept so that you can remember. Okay, so we have physical class Monday and Tuesday, which is three to four thirty p.m. Okay, so if you uh, prefer physical class, okay, only these two days are uh, because other days we have robotic classes. So I can only arrange these two days for physical. Of course, online I have one more. If some of you uh, prefer online class, it is uh, 3 30 to 5 p.m. Okay. Okay. So oh, I'm not including the fees here. Okay, so this one, this one is uh, totally a new course, so need to extra pay one. Uh, okay, not 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 including in your current robotic class. Okay, so for uh our students here, okay, means uh for we, our current students are who are actually joining our robotic class. So you have a discounted price of 150 per month. Okay, 150 per month. Okay, but for new students means uh, that never joined before. Okay, the fees is actually 200. Okay, so for, for you all who have joined our academy. Okay, so the rate is 150. We give discount. Okay. So this is a different kind of uh, course already, totally different kind. Okay, robotic is robotic. Uh, for this one, it's both for another another kind of competition. Uh, okay, because it's totally different knowledge. Uh, this is actually the learning outcome. What you will learn, okay, at the end of uh, means after you learn this course. Okay, the first one is introduction to Python programming. Uh, okay, so now I also introduce the text about Python to you already. But um, the first class, if you all join, okay, the first class, I will need to teach you all how to set up that software in your laptop. Okay, so because later on, I also will share you what kind of software, but uh, I, will, I, will, I will need to teach you all how to set up first. So introduction to Python programming in the first class. Okay, then what this course will cover, algebra, okay. Okay, not only programming, uh, I, in this course, I'm not only teaching about uh, Python only. I will also teach you about Max concept because this is about computational thinking. So you will need to use this Python to do calculation. So I will also teach you about related Max concept in this course. Okay, so you can use your Max to solve some questions, okay, for the competitions. All right, so uh, algebra is one of that, okay? So maybe some of you haven't uh, uh, learned this before, but this is what we will cover. Lah. 
Okay, then syntax variables. Okay, this is this this is about the programming lah. Okay, the concept in the programming. Okay, Boolean operators. Okay, which means those kind of uh, calculations are uh, comparison uh, Okay, so this I will cover also. Okay, control statement. Uh, else, uh, so every one of you know graphical programming here and block here. So if else uh, it's the same concept, but how to write it out? Okay. So if something then, for example, this one, uh, if snowing, then you need to uh, wear boots. If it's not uh, snowing, then you need to wear sneakers. Okay. So this is a control statement. Uh, okay. So this is a concept I will teach. Okay. No chart. Very important thing. Okay. And I will also teach this actually when you will uh, uh, really learn about flow chart. Uh, it's actually maybe end of your secondary school or starting in university only you will learn. But flowchart is something not difficult. So I will cover this because this is a very important part before you. In our RBT now, Scott. In your RBT? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's, that's good. Right? So means that you all know uh, the flowchart. So I will also teach how to... Um, relate the flowchart to your program okay you need to write out your flowchart first and only we write the program this is a good practice uh. this is a good practice uh, so uh, this is a, a concept of a flowchart uh, but in programming is different in programming we have a start and an end block so that will be a little bit different so even for your rbd your you use flowchart for what for planning what uh for like uh, daily activities and then got a little bit of scratch so it's to plan about activities right yeah uh, like yeah. you want to put you want to buy, you buy something a uh, drink from the vending machine you put the coin in then it doesn't come into the press the button like that. yeah so that's the action that's the action okay so for the entire process we always use flow chart to design and only from this full chart we do for the coding uh, so it's the same concept and it's very useful okay so i will teach this in this uh python programming course also uh, okay so this is what we will cover okay array which means that okay here you can see a like, variable array is like a set of variables but this concept i'm not going to teach here first uh, okay because this is a very long topic loops okay means that something you want it to keep repeating keep repeating but you don't want to keep means uh copy paste your code so you need to use loop in your end block you also got loop okay like repeat or forever uh, that is the loop okay so in our python we also got a lot of uh, uh, i mean many kind of loop uh, you can set many kind of condition but or you just need to type out uh, so next Build max function. Okay, this one in your M block, you also have max function. Okay, but I'm not going to teach a very uh means very uh difficult one. You will use very uh common one like power, square root, min, max, all this. Okay, so this will be covered in this course also. Okay, why you need this uh, because always remember uh, uh, for this course uh, we always do calculation <laughs> we always do calculation so uh you need to know some max and only you can solve the problem uh. so next thing is function okay means that uh you create one task okay one task then after that every time you can use back the same same function you don't need to rewrite the whole task okay so means you can give it input then it process and it give you an output so this is a concept of a function uh. Uh, okay so in your in your ember also you have this kind of a uh, uh, function okay you can define your own function okay next thing is classes but i'm not going to further talk about this because this is also another long topic okay last one is file handling which means that in our python uh, we will actually uh process we will process document okay document like what like excel file like a uh, text file okay so means that in your program you can actually in the file and you calculate everything then you can uh use the result out okay so this is what pro python programming can do and block 
uh, can't do this. Uh, definitely cannot. Arduino won't use this as well. Okay, so this is pure about computer programming. Uh, so yeah, to share to you all, uh, if you all really interested in computer science in future that you all want to uh, study, uh, this will be very, very helpful for you all. Okay, because in computer science, you learn about the same thing. So here I will teach you the, the simple concept first. Okay, so in your university, it will be more and more easier. All right. So, okay, again, uh, for this, uh, okay, for this one, I will focus more for competition. So you all know that uh, this is actually what you can aim for, what you can aim for. Okay, so for students who are actually uh, less than nine, uh, 12 years old, okay, I will focus this because for this one is in uh, Singapore, uh, a, co a competition, uh, okay, it's in Singapore. Okay, so if means that if you can uh, get a very good result, maybe you can get a scholarship in Singapore. But it's only for 12 years old student only. Uh, only for 12 years old. Uh. Okay, so for you all who are already 12 years old, means you cannot you cannot take this anymore. But, okay, incoming, we have a uh, beaver. So this is also a computational thinking competition in Malaysia. Okay, so uh, means all ages also can can take part uh, from 9 to 17 years old but this is the main competitions that i really really want to develop you all to go this is about olympiad uh, so if you all heard about max olympiad okay so not only max got olympiad uh, okay so actually for programming also got olympiad so this is the international olympiad that i really hope that you all in the future can go for if you can get medals in this uh, international Olympiad, uh, you most likely you can get very good uh, university in uh, US or UK, these kind of countries. Okay, so this is why I really hope that you all can go for. Okay, it's a very straightforward theme that I want you all to, to go for. Uh. Okay, so uh, and more, uh, not only limited to these three. Uh, when I uh when I can find more Python uh programming or computational programming uh competitions, so I will also register you all for that. Uh. Today, what I actually uh introducing you all are the first level only. I break this uh, course into actually four levels. Okay, so for the first level, you are learning basic. So for basic, we will also provide you the uh, Python programming badges. This one is actually recognized by MTech. Uh, MTech uh, means whole, whole Malaysia also recognized if we give this uh, uh this badges. So after you uh means after you complete this course, this in one year, we will give these three badges to you all. Okay. So uh what kind of competition if you are 12 years old, you can go for just now the one that I say. Okay. Uh, also another kind of competition. This one is uh, before you can go to IOI. Uh, before you can go to IOI, uh, you actually have to go through Malaysia uh, competition first. Uh, this one is MCC. So MCC, you still can use Python. Okay. So if you uh, qualify into MCC, so they will, they will give you the medal also, whether you are gold medal, bronze medal, or silver medal. Okay. Of course, Beaver, you can see Beaver at uh, every level you can go for. Uh, but this one, we aim for IOI already. Uh. Okay, Beaver, every level you can go for. Okay, so after you've done this basic, we will uh, shift you all to advanced. So advanced is more about uh, computer science theory, uh, but I will also make it simple for you all. Uh. So that is about algorithm. It's about algorithm. Some of you maybe don't know this word, algorithm. So algorithm is about calculation. Okay, like how you do your max calculation. Okay, so that is called algorithm, which means that like school, they will teach you, okay, for this, uh, for this max, okay, the first thing what you need to do, the second thing what you need to do, the third thing what you need to do, okay? In our programming, also the same thing, but that step is what we call the algorithm. We just use that algorithm to solve question. Okay, so for second one, it's about algorithm. Okay, so here we have two badges. If you complete that, uh, you you take the grading already, you get these two badges. Okay, level one and level two. 
Okay, so maybe you don't want to take it here, you can take it uh, lastly there. Okay, so after that, what I need to tell you all is, okay, for this one, you also can use MCC to solve. Okay, uh, after these two levels, we will actually shift to C++. Okay, so for this one is Python. Python is easier for you to learn. But for just now, I mentioned about the International Olympiad, uh, for the International Olympiad, that one have to use C++. Okay, so I will need to teach you all the C++ basic as well. So this one also have three levels of badges. Uh, okay, imagine uh, here is one year, here is one year, here is one year, here is one year. Okay, so I need to develop you all for four years. Okay, for because for this course, uh, we don't say it's really, really hard, but no, not really that easy also. So you need to take years to 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 train up. Okay, but every every stages here, you can see we still got many kind of competition we can go. You still can score a lot of things. Okay, but at the end, I hope you all can uh aim for the last one. We call it Olympiad International Olympiad of Informatics. Okay, if you really represent Malaysia, go for this one, uh, and you can win. It actually means that you are already already Olympian, okay. So this is this is the ultimate goal, okay. So you can see last last two is about C plus plus, okay. I will also teach you about C plus uh, plus programming, okay. Uh, yeah. So this is the roadmap that you all go through, okay. Once you all learn from here, I will try to bring you all to the last level, okay. Okay, and you can see that um, it's actually different thing, uh. It's actually different thing to what you all are uh, following our robotic class. Our robotic class, we teach you about hardware, we teach you how to develop projects. Okay, we also bring you to competitions. But for this one, there's no hardware. Okay, only software, but you need to use more your uh, max knowledge, your logical knowledge, and then to type out your program. Okay, so this is the difference between this Python class and the robotic class. So I'm going to share you all how this just now i've uh, introduced you all like mcc uh, mco uh, apio uh, okay and uh, ioi okay so how actually their question will be okay so for this one is a very easy one this is a uh, mcc level okay this is mcc level can be solved by using python can be solved by using python so they usually will come out with this kind of question like okay now i give you four uh, numbers okay but it is actually in A, B, C, D. Okay, then you will need to find out, oh, you see uh, this symbol. Uh, so this is a max symbol. Uh, so that's why I said I will always um, teach you all about some max also in this course because uh, you will need it. Okay, so this actually is called a floor symbol, means that uh, after you divide, okay, after you divide, and then you get the not round, not round up value, uh, means if you get 5.52 if you round up actually you get uh six but if you use this floor means you only get the the, the number before the decimal point okay you only get the number before the decimal point in whole number okay so this uh for this question what um they want is actually you need to find out okay this abcd Later on, you can uh, rotate it. So once you rotate it, the A, B, C, D, you can see it actually become in this way. A now become 11, right? Then C now become eight. Okay, so you need to find out the maximum. Okay, you need to find out the maximum. Okay, and how many times you, you need to rotate it in order to get the maximum. For example, uh, heaven rotate is one, 11, five, eight. So if you get it, uh, you get zero okay why you get zero because of this one over 11 is zero point something okay so once you get this floor symbol already you get zero five over eight also less than one so if you if you floor it then you also get zero so zero plus zero okay it's of course zero okay for this one 11 over eight okay it's one point something okay then this one is zero one over five is zero so that's why you get one so you need to find out how many times i need to rotate in order to get uh the, the 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 largest sum here all right how to how to rotate it okay so for this one you only need to rotate four times very easy you need to rotate four times then you just find out which one is the maximum okay then you record down the rotation okay how many you need to rotate okay it's 
I mean, for the concept, it's this easy, but when you need to type it out, uh, so you need to type it out, then you need to type in Python programming already. Okay, uh, let us uh, uh, slightly see. Okay, so uh, in the competition, uh, they will give you input. Okay, of course, they will give you an output. This is sample. Uh, then they will keep on testing your program. They will give you different input and then they also have the answer already. Then they will keep on testing whether your program is correct or not. Okay, so after two rotations, uh, the table value is five, okay, which is the maximum possible. So only you need to rotate two times and you will get the maximum number. Okay, so this is the answer. This is the answer for you. Okay, this is what the competition will provide you, but you need to write out the program. Okay, so of course we need to always uh, analyze it. So that just now I have said, you need to rotate uh, four times. For example, I use one, two, three, four. Uh, use one, two, three, four. Okay, so... The first one is uh, uh, 1 over 3, okay, because A over C, ma, then plus B over D. So you get is uh, 0.83, and if you flow it, you get 0, okay? You, you flow it, you will get 0, okay? So this is without any rotation, okay? Then, after you rotate it, you get this, okay? And if you calculate it, you will get uh, 1, okay? You get 1 if you flow it. Okay, you get one. Okay, but you only need to rotate one. Okay, you get one. But if you rotate one more time, you get five. Okay, four over two, two ma. Three over one, three. So you get five. So now the maximum is five. Okay, and the rotation is in the second rotation. And if you rotate one more time, you get three. Two over one plus four over three. Okay, so you get five. Huh? Right. So if you rotate one more time, what will it be? For this the fourth one, if you rotate one more time, <laughs> you will become the first one. Okay, so you don't need to recalculate for the first one. So for this case, you only need to do four. Okay, so of course, always uh, you need to know oh how many times I need to repeat. So you need to you need to you need to find out first. Okay, because you need to use the for loop. Okay, you need to repeat for four times only. But sometimes you need to repeat until some condition. For example, I have ten values then. I don't know whether every time I get is it 10 values, maybe next time I get is 20 values. Then I need to, uh, according to that length, okay, means the length is 10, okay, another length is 20, so I need to get the length, okay, so that is how we call it uh, more dynamically, okay, we don't need to like give it a, 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 a constant value, okay, so you need to find out oh, how many loops I need to use, okay, and then how many variables I will need to use. All right, so it's this easy. This question is very easy, but you can see, okay, the answer is two rotation, okay, because at here, and it won't actually uh, uh, means affect your maximum because your maximum is five. So it means that if this, uh, any answer that is less than your maximum, it won't affect your maximum. Until you get a new maximum, your maximum will be, uh, will be uh, updated, okay? So from here, we can see that we only use like two variables here, maximum and rotation. Uh, so you need to know how many variables you need to use and how many loops that you need to use. Okay, so here, as you can see, okay, I use these two variables just now. Okay, I use the maximum and the rotations. Okay, then the loop, you see, I use only four times. Okay, then in this loop, I just do the calculation. I just rotate it here. I rotate 90 degrees here. All right. So this is how we, after we keep on practicing, uh, this is very easy questions. After the after that, in the end, you print out the answer. How many rotations? Okay, because here you will you will record down, oh, which one is the maximum that I get? Uh? Then after that, I just uh, save the rotation here. All right. So this is how we write out the Python code. Okay, if you use C programming uh, in uh, from eight to 26, you, you take only 18 lines here. Uh, but if you use C programming, uh, maybe it take you like maybe uh, 20 lines or 20 something lines here. Okay, uh, not that straightforward. Uh. C programming, you need to define your own integer or your own string or words first. Okay, but um, in Python, you don't need to do that. You just put A equals to what? B equals to what then it will know, oh, this one is an integer or this one is a float like this, right? So that one, more information will be 
teach in future class. Okay, so this one, this one is a uh, also MCC question, but it's a slightly difficult question. So maybe, maybe you all can try to challenge this. Out. Okay, so this is the question. A bakery shop has promotion. If you buy four pieces, okay, the second cheapest is free of charge. For example, uh, I buy the the this is this is the price of the bread. Okay, A every break of different price. Uh, if I buy the the bread is RM1, RM2, RM3, and RM4 together, okay, one, two, three, four together, okay, RM2 will be free of charge. I only need to pay for one, three, and four, which means eight, eight ringgit, okay, and I will get this four bread. So the discount I get is two ringgit because the second one is free of charge, okay. So they will ask this kind of very tricky question, but you like one, huh? all right. So you want to buy. Okay, I mean, they will ask you to buy all, uh, okay? For example, here is eight braids, okay? They will ask you to buy all eight, and you will need to uh, classify to four braids and four braids. You need to pack it four braids and four braids, and then you need to help your, your mother to get as much discount as you can, right? So how you, how you will group it, for example, in this eight, eight price braid here, okay? For example, your mom say, oh, uh this these are the these are the uh eight breaks that i want to buy okay then how i can get the most discount price uh, because i want to get uh like more discount means you want to get the free one uh, the the price is higher okay so how you will solve this right so maybe Devish, you can you can you can slightly uh thing okay not 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 in programming but how you will solve it first in term of this okay i'll give you eight uh eight prices here then how you group it and you get you get the the, the largest discount here i have eight bricks uh, okay different prices right okay all different prices then the first thing is i need to sort it first okay i sort it all okay sort means i arrange uh, according to their price from the cheapest to the, the the highest price okay so what i get is one two three six seven eight nine ten then they say oh you want to uh, maximize your uh your promotion means that you want the free one is the expensive one correct so i will get i will try to get the second one is the expensive one i will get the expensive one so how i will need to arrange it you can see okay after i sort it i get three expensive one and group with the cheapest one here uh, so you see uh, now what i get is in this set is one eight nine ten so which one is free eight ringgit will be free okay this one will be free i will only need to pay for this ten nine and one twenty for here okay then i have left four here i have left four here so which one will be free the the rm3 will be free okay so i will only need to pay for two six is eight seven seven then it's 15 here okay ah, then your three ring is free okay and this one just now we calculate is 20. so you only need to pay for 35 okay and you will get this 11 ringgit for free all right so this is how if you get more bread i also do the same thing if you have 12 bread i also do the same thing i'll just get the last highest three price i put it down i get the most cheapest one and i put it here and then i keep on doing this process oh then i have that that set already then the remaining eight i still do the same i still take take the most uh expensive three and i take the most cheapest one and group it together so that i will always can maximize my uh my my discount okay i don't care i you you give me how many input even you give me eight thousand in input i also can process this process it okay so for this kind of uh completion uh, they will give you like up to 10,000 data one okay so we always need to do an efficient one okay 
but computer can always do this very fast. Okay, even you give me 10,000 input, 10,000 breaks, uh, I use the same program, I can always give you the, the, the correct answer. Okay, so this is what we aim for. Okay, so when I give you the answer, you say, whoa, oh, wow, I never had expect this. But yes, so always we will get these kind of questions, but it's, it can be very easily solved like this. Yes, so yeah, just now you see, uh, these two will be free. So that's why you only need to pay for 35 ringgit in order to get all the eight bricks. In order to get all the eight bricks. Okay, if you get 80 bricks also, I can use the same program to calculate it. Okay, so yeah, for explanation just now, okay, you can buy two badges to get one that costs eight free. Okay, so yeah. So this is what I have explained just now. So for just now, it is very easy to calculate with hand, okay? Because only eight there, but if you got 80, you need to do this for 20 times, okay? You need to do for 20 times because one set is four. If you got 80, then you need to divide by four, okay? So it's 20 times, okay? But how we actually do this in Python, okay? How? So this short program, this short program you can see solve everything even if you got hundred you got thousand you got ten thousand what i need to do is i just change my data here prices here only okay but you can see in 14 lines are less than 14 lines are, i can solve this this uh tricky tricky question here okay so when i review the answer you see oh wow it's really easy la. okay but always la, we, uh, after we keep on practicing practicing we always can get the the, the correct answer la. okay so as you can see the code is really not uh not difficult uh, in c will be difficult la. in c we don't have this pop 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 left all these things okay in python it is very uh very easy to implement because they, they, they already have the libraries there. Okay, they already have, like you see, an uh, import collection. This is a library. Okay, they already have a built in one there. What we need to do is just we type in here, then we just use it. Very easy. Okay, so this is how just now that question we do it in Python programming. Uh, okay, so today I only show these two questions here. Like, Okay, so you don't need to type out <laughs> okay because we always revise it in, in the in the real classes. Okay, so yeah, we can conclude la. Okay, let me conclude this briefing today. La. Right. So Python is the most easiest programming language to pick up to learn. Okay. So text-based programming is the most easiest programming. Okay, Python is the most easiest. So I uh, that that is why we launched this class for kids, right? Not like only university students can learn Python, okay? Because many people will be impressed. Uh, oh, a Python like a very new programming language. Is it hard? But it's really not. Even somebody that is don't know, don't have any programming knowledge, can always start with Python. Okay, so this is why we start with Python. So Python is the currently most important language, okay? Uh, involved in high-end technology, okay. For now, the trend is all about artificial intelligence, data scientists, big data, all these all these trends, trendy technology. Okay, in the future, in the future, uh, we have like, uh, for, for example, Facebook want to do metaverse, okay, and uh, about blockchain, Python also can do blockchain, okay. So we can see that uh, Python is really the language that is now the most up-to-date one can do a lot of things okay that's that is why python developer got the highest annual salary okay he got the reason one okay so python is powerful okay third one uh, python is powerful but not the most efficient code just now i have told you uh because python they use interpreter so the step they take will be uh, longer than c programming okay it's powerful, but it's not the most efficient one. The most efficient one still C++, okay? To share with you all, C++ still the most efficient code. That is why 
IOI, they don't allow Python, they only allow C++. Okay, in the International Olympiad of this uh, uh, informatics, okay, they only allow C++. Okay, so, but start with is very, very good <coughs> language to start with. Okay, so the fourth one is Python can be used to develop many kinds of application, but not all kinds of application. Like Java, they do mobile application. Python, not yet. Okay, Python cannot do mobile application. Then uh, what else Python can do? Like uh, database, that people still using MySQL. Okay, so it can do many, but not all. Uh, Python, not all. Uh. Okay, so the last one is learning Python can provide you more option and opportunity in future. So this is really my intentions. Okay, this is what my aim. I hope uh, every student here can really learn this um, in future, you will use it, okay? And if you really succeed in competitions, you will get more opportunity, definitely more opportunity, okay? This is what my experience, uh, I've actually got it uh, starting from my university, okay? So I hope that every one of you can do even better than me, okay, in the future. So this is the, only the first step, okay? This is only the first step. So this is why I uh, we launched this new class here. Okay, so yeah, if no question, then we can end our trial class here. Anything more you don't understand and you want more information, always you can WhatsApp me, okay? Yeah, I'm always in the group there, so you all can always WhatsApp me. Okay, so yeah, if no questions, then we end our trial class here. So I wish you all Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, okay? So yeah, bye.